welcome back to my channel. It's Janet and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because this was something that I needed to address uh, and I thought I would do it in a YouTube video. So if you're new here, I have lost over 100 pounds following the ketogenic lifestyle. I have gone from 240 pounds to around 145 right now. My lowest that I got down to was 133, uh, that I reached my goal weight, which was last summer. So I have been maintaining for a while now, and this video is something that has been on my mind actually for a couple weeks now, and I thought that I would just do a video to, I don't know, kind not really like to, you know, um, I don't want to say like set the story straight, but it's just a lot. I see a lot of conflict lately on YouTube with subscribers, YouTubers, and such just having this all or nothing idea with keto. And that is kind of what I want to address today. I know my videos all pertain to keto. That is when I started my YouTube channel. I actually started this YouTube channel when I reached my goal weight and my brother came down to visit. It was COVID and we were just talking and it was something that I always wanted to do was to start a YouTube channel. And my brother encouraged me to start one. He says, you have an excellent story to share. You have lost over a hundred pounds on your own following a keto diet and you are like a motivator, you're inspiration, you're all of these things and I feel like you would have something to give and to help others reach their weight loss goals. And I kind of thought about it and I was like, you know what, I do. I had time on my hands because I wasn't working as much as I used to because of COVID, our hours were cut. And I thought this would be a great time to start YouTube. I really had no intentions on where it would go. I just kind of wanted to share my story and to try to inspire others, even only if it was one person to inspire, that was the motivation of my YouTube channel. And it still is, it still is. But a lot of the conflict that I have been seeing on YouTube, just even with other YouTubers within the comments, and uh, like, I don't know, it's just something that has been on my mind. And that is the mentality that the keto diet is the end all be all. And I 100% do not agree with that statement. Now, I love keto. I love the keto diet. It. I have lost over 100 pounds following it. It has done absolute wonders for me. I have gotten off of my high blood pressure pills. Um, my IBS has improved. And I noticed that my eczema and allergies have gotten better. And of course, just overall weight loss. I feel absolutely amazing. And I don't feel the big thing that I want to get across with keto and why I continue to do keto is because I don't feel like I'm on a restrictive diet. This is a lifestyle for me. This is something that I feel like I can do long term. With that being said, this I want to also explain that these are only my thoughts and things that I've experienced in my lifetime. Um, and this is kind of why I'm making this video is I have done every diet out there. I have done every diet out there and guess what you guys? Every diet has worked. Every diet has worked for me. There hasn't been a diet where I have not lost weight. That is not the problem. The problem lies with me being a food addict and with losing weight. I have had weight loss issues, weight gain issues since my, I turned like 18, pretty much 18, 19. When I started college, I was on my own is where my weight gain started and my addiction to food started. I lived in a small town growing up, born and raised, and I moved to a city there was fast food, there was going out, there was friends, drinking, etc. That was the beginning of my um, struggle with my weight. And I have done every diet. And by every diet, I do mean every diet. I have tried the cabbage soup diet. I have tried Weight Watchers, the Atkins diet, the Jenny Craig diet, um, carb cycling. I have done them all. 
and I have lost weight on all of those um, programs. So that is why, now, don't get me wrong, I know there is people out there, including myself, that have recovered from medical issues by following a ketogenic diet, and even it is a proven, it is proven through um, doctors and such. They do recommend a keto diet under some circumstances. 100% agree with that. I think the problem with what I am seeing, and I'm a positive person, if you guys know me personally, obviously I know a lot of you don't, but I am the same person as you see on camera to my everyday life, to when I'm working, when I'm alone with my husband, when I'm alone with my kids. I am the same person across the board because I'm just me. <laughs> I don't try to be anybody else. I don't try to please my viewers. Um, you know, I'm just not that type of person. I am truly 100% genuine to what you're seeing every day in my videos and I just want everybody to keep it positive because you know there's a lot of people out there and what kind of struck this idea to do this video was um, Daniela Diaries so I have been following her for years years even prior to keto and she recently has said in her videos that she is quitting keto and she is going to like a healthy lifestyle, just kind of probably calorie counting, you know, making healthier choices in her diet and for her weight loss journey. You know, and I went through those comments. I bet you over half of them were bashing her and her choice of what she is doing personally for herself. And I thought, how are you to say that you know, with what she's doing, how does that affect your your life? You know, let's put that into perspective and let's really think about the, everybody has their own opinion. Absolutely everybody has their own opinion. And, you know, congratulations to her for coming on YouTube with 60,000 subscribers that she has to acknowledge that I'm quitting keto and this is what I'm going to be doing moving forth. That takes a lot of courage. I only have a small amount of viewers on my channel and that would be very, very scary for something for me to do if and when I do change my path of my eating. Um, and that is why I named my channel Janet Greta. It is my first and my middle name. I didn't want to put anything keto in my title uh, for my YouTube channel because things could change. And for all I know, I don't 100% know scientifically if everything that got better with going on keto and losing over 100 pounds, if it was because of keto. I cannot 100% I cannot say that because all those things that I mentioned that healed me with keto actually improved with any other weight loss diet and when I actually lost weight and got into a healthy weight range so you know everybody is different and i really want everybody to understand that is watching this video i don't want to see anybody bashing what anybody is eating or what any sort of lifestyle weight loss journey that they are on it is hard enough to start a weight loss journey it is hard enough to continue a weight loss journey and it is hard enough to sustain your weight loss journey and you know, for those of you that say, oh, you know, you quit keto, that's it, that's it for you. Like, you're gonna gain all the weight back and just being so negative, can we please, you know, bring some positivity into this world? It's quite easy behind a screen to write whatever you want in the comments, I understand that. But, you know, behind the screen, like myself, I am a real person. I have had hardships in my life just as everybody else who puts themselves on YouTube with weight loss, it's probably one of the most sensitive topics out there for yourself to put out to the world. And, you know, my intention when I started YouTube was to share my experience, to be a positive environment. We had so many negative things going on in the world with COVID that I just wanted to kind of spread some joy and spread what I have learned with losing over a hundred pounds. But you know what? I would still have those to share if it was calorie counting, if it was Weight Watchers, 
if it was any other diet out there, I would still have the weight loss stories and suggestions with whatever diet program I was following and I would be successful. And everybody is different. I feel like keto for me, and like I said at the beginning of this video, keto is sustainable for me. I don't feel restricted. I can still go out and have my chicken wings. I can have a dozen of them if I want. I can go out and have my burger, a whole burger, uh, lettuce wrapped if I want. I don't feel like I can, like it's so restricting the other, other diets. But you know what? It's worked for so many people. Keto is not, is not the end all be all. And if you're watching this and you have been doing keto and you have been following it strictly and it's not working for you, then you need to try something else. And I fully encourage you to try something else because sometimes keto isn't for everybody, you know? And that's what I explain to um, people, friends, family that come up to me and say, how did you lose the weight? What's your secret? You know, the secret is being in a calorie deficit. That is the secret. I can be keto, I can eat 2,000 calories a day on keto and gain weight. The key, like any other diet, is to be in a calorie deficit. So I just wanted to really get this video out there to, I just really, I just really wanted to do this video to encourage you to be kind. I know you hear that a lot and you, you know, a lot of people say it, but really consciously think what you are writing in the comments and how that person is reading your comments, whether it's even others, not necessarily the YouTuber, but even others. Um, you know, keto has worked for me. But Weight Watchers has worked for me. Carb cycling has worked for me. Counting my macros has worked for me. You know, <laughs> and that's kind of what we all need to keep in mind is that the key, the key to weight loss is being in a calorie deficit. The key to weight loss is not only keto. <laughs> it is not only Weight Watchers. You know, what I encourage anybody who is on a weight loss journey and to take those steps to be on a weight loss journey, it is very, very difficult starting at 240 pounds or whatever your starting weight is, was. It is very hard to make those first steps and to stay on track. And you know, what we need is positivity and encouragement. And I definitely, that is why I started my channel. I try to do a variety of videos on my channel. I am always looking for suggestions. Um, I have been doing a lot of the protein sparing modified fast because they do get the most views. So from a YouTuber's point of view, I also wanted to um, share this information as a YouTuber is when we look on our videos, we look to see what videos are getting the most views. Not for dollar amounts, not for how much I'm gonna get paid, not for anything like that. The data that I use personally, and I'm sure other YouTubers is, this is what people want to see. So if you're getting you know, 4,000 views on a protein sparing modified fast recipe that you're sharing, and you're only getting you know, 1,000 views on a keto meal, you're gonna to tend to do more protein sparing modified fast videos. And that's another thing that I wanted to get across because not only myself, but other YouTubers I know have experienced this. You know, why can't you share more crock pot recipes? Or why can't you share more meal prep recipes? And the truth is, is you kind of do what the viewers want to see. And that is how you gauge it. If a lot of viewers are watching that particular video, then that's what you tend to do more of. Channels change throughout the, the months and the years when they first started. They either evolve, have new ideas, do a little bit differently on their channel, like as far as the structure, um, and it's just how, how it is. You know, I hope my channel never stays the same. I don't want it to ever stay the same. I do want to evolve. I want to have new ideas. I want to have new recipes. I want to do 
constantly new things and that's what I spend my time doing in the evenings. Well, I'm watching a movie, I am looking up recipes or looking up ideas or something new that I can make and create that it is going to be useful and that you'll enjoy and that will get views, then I know that I'm on the right path. If my videos weren't getting a lot of views, like if they were hovering, you know, whatever, even around the thousand or 500 views or whatever amount of views, if they were lower than some of my other, other videos, then I'm not gonna do those videos because those aren't the videos that people wanna see. <laughs> so I also wanted to explain that in this video because I just noticed not only on my channel, I'm lucky enough that I have fantastic subscribers. So thank you so much, you guys, for being 100% there for me and you know, being true to yourselves and giving such positive comments. I am definitely one of the fortunate ones, but it's just something that I notice on other YouTubers and I don't know maybe if they're too scared to address it, but it just, for me, I am one, <laughs> I always say like my daughter Zoe is very much, she would love the world to be equal. There would be no such thing as rich or poor, black or white, you know, good, bad. It would just be straight across the board, this world. And you know, I know where she gets that from <laughs> and that is from me. And I know the world will never be in perfect harmony. I understand that, but you know, let's just keep it in mind going into this new year that, you know, everybody has their own struggle and you know, there is people struggling right now with weight loss starting a new year, maybe even finances, maybe even with their job. And there is a lot of struggles. And like I share on my Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure that you are. I share a lot of inspirational uh, quotes on there actually. And one quote that I shared on there recently, I will actually read it to you. So I just shared this quote actually a couple of days ago and that's why it stuck out in my mind. And it is a quote from Robin Williams. And it says, everyone you meet is fighting a battle. You know nothing about. Be kind always. And I love that. And that is from Robin Williams. It gives me the chills reading that. And it's 100% true. Uh, you, everybody is struggling with some sort of battle in their life. It might be little, it might be small, or it might be small, it might be, you know, an overwhelming battle. Everybody at some level is struggling in their own way. So let's keep in mind to keep it lighthearted. YouTube is a place where we come to conversate with others. It's where YouTubers share their content. That's why we are called content creators. We are constantly thinking of things to put out into the YouTube world. And, you know, let's just recognize everybody's hardships and struggles and respect that. And, you know, just, just try to be kind to one another and especially over social media. Social media can be a very toxic place if you let it be. And this video is just kind of a little reminder to keep it lighthearted and you know, everybody is struggling and let's all just respect that, be kind to one another and have encouraging comments in the comments on YouTube videos. So I just wanted to share this video today and get that off my chest. It has, so it has been weighing on my mind for a while since um, Daniela Diaries pretty much had put that video out and I read through the comments and I really felt for her. I really, really did. Um, so that is kind of what prompted me to do this video and I've been thinking about doing it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you all. I want you to know that I absolutely love your positivity. I love your support to the channel and let's keep it going. You guys, let's keep this positivity going and keep this an enjoyable place to be. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.